Hello future engineers and welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay, so our topic for this video is the actual deformation under strength of materials. Okay, so before we proceed to solve this problem, let's have a brief background on how they derive the formula for actual deformation. Okay, so from the stress strain diagram, this one. Okay, and from the proportional limit or uh, or the Hooke's law, okay, so from 0 to P, this one, or uh, the proportional limit, the stress strain curve is a straight line. So, this one is a straight line, okay, meaning that the stress uh, and the strain is directly proportional to each other. Okay, the stress is directly proportional to strain. So, in formula, the stress is directly proportional to strain. This one with a constant K. Okay, so that is the proportional limit. Okay, but what is uh, the elastic limit? Okay, so elastic limit is the limit beyond which the material will no longer go back to its original shape when the load is removed. Or, it is the maximum stress that develops such that there is no permanent deformation when the load is entirely removed. Okay? So, I think the best example to easily visualize is the rubber band. Okay? So, sa rubber band, Pag in-stretch natin siya within the elastic limit, bumabalik pa din siya from its original shape. Okay? But, pag nag-exceed pa tayo sa elastic limit, that's the time na kahit tanggalin pa yung, yung applied load, hindi hindi na siya babalik sa original shape. Okay? Then, pag tinuloy-tuloy pa natin, nadagdagan yung applied load, dun nabibigay yung ating material. So, the allowable deformation is up to elastic limit only. Okay? So, okay, so let's go back for this, ano, the proportional limit, the stress is equal to KE, where K is the uh, slope of the line from 0 to P. This one, or the K, or we can say that is a constant, okay? This one, the slope of this curve, okay? And we can also say that K is equal to E, okay? And E is the modulus of elasticity. Or we can also call this as Young modulus, okay? So pr from this one, let's substitute uh, E to K. And we will have the stress is equal to E multiply it by the strain where strain is equal to the deformation over its length okay and then the stress is mm, uh, applied force over the area okay so let's substitute the this value of the strain and stress for, to this formula okay so uh, P A is P over A is equal to E multiply it by the deformation over L and the deformation is equal to uh, P L over A E. So that is how the formula derived from. Okay. So let's now start to solve this uh, tricky problem. This one. Okay. This one. Okay. So let's start. The rigid bars A, B, and C, D shown in figure 214 are supported by pins at A and C. This one. And the two rods, this one, at the aluminum rod and then the steel rod. Okay? Determine the maximum P that can be applied as shown if its vertical movement is limited to 5 mm. Neglect the weight of all members. Okay? So, uh, sinabi niya dito na rigid bars ang A, B, and C, D natin. This one, A, B, and C, D. When we say rigid bars, okay, wala siyang deformation, okay? Wala siyang bend, hindi siya magbe-bend. It is uh, straight, okay? Kung straight siya rito, straight siya. Kung ano yung original uh, shape niya, ganun pa rin yung uh, magiging shape niya, 
okay so that's it so let's now proceed to solve the, the reactions okay so kung, kung p dito ang kinukuha natin is the maximum p kung p rito okay we can now we can say that uh, due to symmet symmetrical 3 meters and 3 meters uh, makukuha natin to ng 0.5 and 0.5 or you can uh, you can use the summation moment at C, makukuha mo tong D, and then summation forces ka number typical, okay? So, uh, kung 0.5 P tayo sa D, okay? So, uh, 0.5 P din tayo sa B, okay? So, summation moment at A, okay, makukuha natin na sa aluminum rod natin is P, okay? That is equal dito, and then sa A natin is 0.5 of P. Okay? So, let's draw the free body diagram. Okay? So, this one, this is the rod AB, and this is the rod CD. Okay? And then, uh, they are 2 meters apart, or that is it, that is the uh, length of the steel rod. Okay? 2 meters. Okay? And then, let's uh, i-apply natin lahat ng loads na nakuha natin. Okay? So, ito is the reaction uh, or the internal force na uh, sa steel rod, okay? And then, this is the internal force sa aluminum rod, okay? And this is the applied force, okay? So, kung from the initial, okay? So, pag nag-apply tayo ng P dito at this location, ang tendency ng rod BC is to rotate. Okay, that one. Okay, and then, from dyan, nagkaroon na movement dito, which is uh, limited to 5 mm. Yun yung sinabi niya na conditions. Okay, uh, that, uh, if the vertical movement is limited to 5 mm, okay, limited to 5 mm lang ang movement ng load dito. Okay, so from, from the similar triangle, 3 is to 5 and 6 is 2. Anong equivalent nito? That is equivalent to 10 mm. Okay? So, pwede na pa nating sabihin na this uh, 10 mm is the deformation of the steel rod alone. No. Okay? Hindi pa natin pwede sabihin. Kasi, uh, may mga forces pa tayo dito. May forces pa tayo dito. Okay? So, ang, ang internal forces natin dito sa... Uh, dito sa steel uh, steel rod at point B ang tendency naman yan is to rotate the rod AB okay so nag rotate siya so from dyan nagkaroon ng deformation ang uh, aluminum rod natin yan okay so kung may deformation dyan nagkaroon ng movement naman sa B natin this one okay so from there okay sa una pa lang nakita na natin na uh, ang D dapat 10 mm lang ang maging movement niya kasi pag lumaki pa to mas lalaki pa yung uh, movement ng uh, dito which is ito yung isang condition dito sa problem okay so 2 meters ang ang rod natin so kung bumaba to uh, dito na rin magi-start yung rod natin pababa papunta rito and that is okay iyan na yung tamang elevation ng 2 meters natin so from dito bumaba siya so, from dito, humaba din siya. Okay? So, ang rad natin is dito hanggang dito, based dito sa figure. Okay? So, from dyan, uh, we can now say that this uh, distance or the deformation is due to the rad, uh, steel rad, this one, due to this steel rad. Okay? And this deformation dito, or your movement is due to the deformation ng aluminum rod and that is equal to twice the deformation dito. Bakit twice? Okay? So, from the ratio and proportion of a triangle again, so 3 is 2 deformation and 6 is 2 twice the deformation. Okay? So, from dito, uh, since na-drawing na natin itong uh, pre-body diagram and then I think naintindihan na natin siya, we can now easily solve the required P. Okay? So, from dito, alam natin na ang total nito is uh, 2 meters and 10 mm. And then, so, 
the, the, that the sum of the deformation of the steel and twice the deformation of the, the aluminum rod is equal to 10 mm. So, ito na yung magiging working equation natin. Okay? So, direct substitution tayo ng mga uh, deformation from dito sa formula sa na-derive. Okay? So, to uh, deformation ng aluminum, PL over AE of aluminum plus deformation ng steel, steel run, is PL over AE of the steel is equal to 10 meters. Okay? And then, substituting the given values for the aluminum. So, 2. And then, ang pin natin. So, ano ba ang load ang internal force dito? Which is this one, P. Okay? And then, the length is 2 meters or that is equal to 2,000 millimeter. Okay? Divide by E. Ano ang pin natin? Is 500 mm. And uh, the G. Ang G natin is 70 gigapascal or that is equal to 70,000 megapascal. Okay, plus the same as uh, the steel, okay, ang pin natin is 0.5 of P, and then ang length is 2 meters, and then ang area is 300, and then the modulus of elasticity is 200 uh, gigapascal or equal to 200,000 megapascal, and that is equal to 10 mm. So, from this, uh, meron na tayong uh, uh, P na lang ang, ang ating variable and we can now easily solve this one uh, galing, uh, for this uh, equation. Okay? So, P uh, is equal to 76.36 Newton. Okay? So, from dyan, uh, I think kung madali lang na maintindihan sa diagram, gaya nung ginawa natin is madali lang isolve ang uh, ang problem. Okay? Pero pag hindi natin uh, na nagawa tong diagram na ganito na i-apply is uh, mas lalong hahaba pa ang ating solution. Okay? So, ayan, kailangan i-analyze muna ang problem and then uh, pati yung kanyang behavior kailangan mong intindihin nyo. Pag na-solve mo na yun, pag naintindihan mo na kung ano ang magiging movement niya you can now easily solve kung ano ang hinahanap, okay? So, I think that's all for the topic for today. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe below and hit the bell button for the new upcoming engineering tutorial videos, okay? So, thank you and keep safe always, everyone.